I've done, I've drilled a hole in the bottom of that and I took a lighter and I heated it up to where that hole would start to get soft and then I took my PVC pipe and I pushed it through so it would be nice and snug. Be similar to this. I'm going to adjust it a little more here in a little bit, but we'll see how it all comes together here before long and uh, hopefully it'll work. Okay guys, I laminated a piece of paper here. It's actually a sign that I made. Uh, I'm not, don't have any use for it really. I've made some, this was a, a uh, template. But uh, I'm gonna hold this right above the, where I've laminated it, it's clear. I don't know if you can see that or not, it's clear. I'm gonna put this right above and trace it above there so I'll know exactly the size the pipe needs. I'll show you how that goes together. Okay guys, now that I've got it cut out, you'll see what I'm talking about with the little reed there. This is going to be my little flapper to where I hold it on to the end of the PVC pipe. Okay guys, what you want to do on the end of your pipe before you put your reed on, you want to unlevel it. So I've marked it here to where it's just a slight level so it's not completely flat. You want the air to escape a little bit. So I'm going to grind that off and I'll be right back to you. I'm going to use a uh, Dremel tool for this procedure. Hey guys, okay what you got here is you take your flap that you come up with, the laminated piece here that I told you about. I just uh, basically took a finger tip and trace my fingertip almost to the size of my fingertip. I'd say if you got, you want it to cover just barely half inch PVC pipe here. Then you want to work it and find out where it's going to place at on here because that's your reed. Let me give a little demonstration. Let's see here. Find the perfect, perfect spot here. So there's a little gap right there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bitty gap. And that's what's going to give you your read. So let me get this taped up and try to figure out how I'm going to attach it. But I think it's going to work out just fine. As, as you can see, what you need to do is you need to mark after you, like I said, this is your clear laminate. And that gives you like a little flexible piece here. And the reason I laminated it is because I wanted it to be waterproof so the rain won't affect it. So whenever you line it up and you find that sweet spot, see how I made a pencil mark here and a pencil mark here with the paper edge of that. And then what I've done is I cut the edge off nice and round so I can tape it. I'll be back with you in a minute. Oh yeah, the most important part, remember how I told you, I was cutting this at an angle, so it's not completely straight. Cut it at an angle, remember where I marked it off. You want it at an angle, so whenever you put it on, you want to put it on in the manner that the angle goes down with your flap up towards that angle, so that way that gives you that little bit of a gap. Then you find your little sweet spot in there, line it up where you've had it. I'm going to hold it with my finger for right now. That allows you to, to give you that flap. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, I'll be right back with you. Hey, I'm having trouble getting this taped on to where it'll sound right, so I'm going to use some of, I got some real sticky uh, sealing stuff. I'm going to use just a wee little small bead of it like uh, glue. And that's what I'm going to use. As you see here I've got a little bit of the silicone window seal here on it just where the reed's going to be placed. This is some super sticky stuff. It never completely dries out. It's always sticky so it'll be good to be able to change the reed. I think it would be better than tape. Tape's just not seeming to give it the right sound, so we'll see how it works. Okay guys, 
as you can see the silicon stuff I had to pull some of it off it a little bit goes a long ways for small projects but it's real pliable it's very sticky don't stick to your fingers but it's real sticky and it's good stuff I've actually had a bullet on my deer antlers that you know on that other video how to mount your deer antlers or how I how I did it and uh, it's held the bullet up there for over a year now so well, around two years I figure there's the uh, reed that is in place let's give it a little shout here <coughs> show you a little closer here so you know that it's actually the reed not too shabby for a piece of PVC pipe and some laminated paper for protection this actually is a lot better than tape because it gives a good seal around the bottom edge sorry I got the hiccups there uh, I'm gonna finish the product and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the pill bottle Hey guys, well, this is what exactly what I'm, I did is I put it inside, I threaded it back through the bottom of the pill bottle so that way it'll protect the reed from getting bent up on you so you don't have to adjust it or anything. It still works, make sure that you have a pill bottle big enough to give you room for your reed. As you can see I have plenty of room in there. And I'm going to take a piece of that window seal. I'm going to seal around the back so it doesn't move and uh, we'll go from there. Here we go guys. I got the window seal around the bottom of where the, uh, the actual I guess throat of the deer or the mouth of the call and as you can see there's plenty of room for the reed moving. It's solid now. I'm going to put some I'm going to change it up, probably put me some electrical tape around it because I don't want this orange to be seen, which would be quite nice. But here's the cool thing about this, guys. Let me show you a little something. Now, this is uh, a pink lid, but that's going to be magic markered over. Um, yeah, I'm not going to use the pink lid, but here's the cool thing about it. Guys, you can put the lid right on there. And protect everything in there from getting hurt so there's the finished product I'm going to show you what it looks like when I get it finished up here and it will not work if the lids on so that means it's good and sealed off <coughs> You can also use it to cup. Pretty, pretty nifty, if I say so myself. The pill bottle deer call. Show you again, guys, when it's done. Okay, guys. A better idea instead of a magic marker I've got some model paint I'm gonna paint this up camouflage um, I'm gonna cover the mouthpiece all the way down up to the end of the bottle with good old electrical tape that'll give it a lot more security this stuff will hold but it's it's a little sticky tacky and I don't want leaves and stuff getting all over it, so I think that'll do just fine. I may drill a hole so I could put it on a lanyard around my neck, possibly. I think that uh, it'll work fine. I keep forgetting to take that lid off. <coughs> said don't throw away junk guys okay guys I got it wrapped in tape took a lighter and went up and down the tape to make sure it would crease really well so it's now it's all sealed 
Silicon's covered in tape now, airtight. Seems to be working pretty good in there. Sealed off, I think. I'm going to drill a hole through here, put me a lanyard. Maybe I can hang it off of there. I don't know if it'll mess the air pressure up. I don't figure it will. I don't figure it will at all. Um, it doesn't matter which way you have it, it'll still work. Well, I haven't really checked the price of them, but I'll tell you guys, Things we have laying around the house, you could have used JB Weld or epoxy putty or anything if you went to the hardware store and really went out and you know bought a piece of PVC pipe three quarters and half inch and this is stuff I got just scattered around in my workshop here. Uh, the rest of my house does not look like this or my wife would kill me but this is my man cave and this is where I keep all my little gadgets I keep every nut, screw, bolt, whatever, you know, and occasionally I go out and buy some supplies and put them away, but things like this can be made from just basic stuff, and there's no point to go out and spend your hard-earned money, and uh, not when you can make it at home, I mean, not when you can make it at home. Uh, got a couple more ideas for a couple more different calls and I'll share them with you. The pill bottle, deer call. Hey guys, I ended up drilling out a little place here in the sides. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I just put a knot put it through and knotted it on this side, bring it down and covered it with electrical, electrical tape all the way down. That way to block the holes back off so don't lose any air pressure. Um, a simple cap. I guess that's uh, to pre for breast cancer or something, but anyway, it's gonna be camouflage. And then I got it on my, I just used some ribbon, some craft ribbon lightweight so my neck it's safe and sound I was going to use this lanyard here it's a little bit flexible but it's a little bulkier than the ribbon the ribbon was flatter it would hide better save this for another project but um, all done guys, hope you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, and some of you out there, thumb down, so it doesn't matter to me, guys what you do, it's your choice. My battery power is dying, so just in enough time, I hope this information that I'm sharing here will help somebody out there. Some people just don't have a lot of money to buy the things that they want, so they do other things to pacify it. So. There's always things that you can do from the junk you have laying around. Another man's junk is another man's treasure, is what they say around here. So until next time, I'll see you.